Hey, how are you? Okay, now I did say I wasn't going to come back yet. Because I had a lot of demons to fight. I did come back at one time. But, um, I think I came back too soon. I still have those demons to fight. A lot of it is still family. But now I want to talk about uh, something that's very, very unknown. It's called Seasonal Affective Disorder. Seasonal Affective Disorder is something, it hits more women than it do men. Of every uh, four people that it hit, four that it hit, Three of them are women. One is a man and is usually a black man. It does hit white men too. But it's like, it's a, it's a disorder as it says, not a disease. It's a disorder. You can be all happy, yeah, all that bullshit, just out of the blue, bam. You turn mean, you turn nasty. Or uh, you'll just be sad seasonal affective disorder seasonal affective disorder r s a d sad and there are medications that i can take for it that'll calm it down but uh those of you who watch my vlogs know i'm on, I'm on medications of the yin yang see that I'm on medication for seizures. You know? I have to take six every night to ward off seizures. Shit. And sometimes that don't even help. I still have them. I have to take this for high cholesterol. It's called simvastatin. One every night before I go to sleep. Lacinopril for high blood pressure. And allopurinol for gout. My ankles swell up as big as my head. Sometimes my hands will swell up. Mm. It'll swell up and my fingers will hurt like hell. So we want to talk about this seasonal affective disorder and take your medication for it. You can if you want to, but like me, if you don't want all these chemicals in your body, you don't want to take it all. And seasonal affective disorder can be something dangerous. It can make you not want to do things. It can make you not want to clean up your house. It make you not want to sometimes make you not want to wash your ass because you're just so down, you're so sad, so angry. It make you want to kill someone, and usually those ones you want to kill are the ones you ask to leave you the fuck alone, and they won't. Sometimes being in a relationship can help. There's only been three people in my life. Three people in my life that's been able to uh, calm this down and keep it away. Now, my family will tell you, well, I would know about it if Mark had seasonal affective disorder or sad, whatever it's called. No, no, you wouldn't. Because I've always known I've had it. I've been known it for the past 18 years. I just never said anything about it. But now that it's getting worse, I am speaking out about it to make some kind of awareness about it. I'm going to be doing more vlogs on it, more edited vlogs on it. But to those of you who know about seasonal affective disorder, and know someone who may have it, please help that person. You know, because it is not a joke. Seasonal affective disorder, it mostly happens 
the big biggest part of it happens towards like September to January. And the bad part about that is my mom's birthday is in September, September 18. My mom died right after my birthday in January. So, and my like, I, and that's hard for me. Cause there, there's no Thanksgiving, there's no Christmas, there's no New Year's at my mom. So it makes it worse for me. Seasonal affective oh, disorder can make you lose weight rapidly. It can make you gain weight rapidly. It can uh, sometimes irritability come up, but that part has never truly happened as of yet. Um, it can make so many different things occur. Make you not want to do nothing. There's this thing called the light box. Because seasonal effect of disorder has to do with the season. The further south you go, the better it is for you. But, you know, me, I live in Florida. I hate Florida. So, where can I go? But in the Philippines, where I've been, when I'm there, I never had a dull moment. I was always happy. And I was told to go there by the doctor who was that diagnosed me. But here's the thing. With me having seasonal affective disorder and also seizures. Some medication in the Philippines is not available for me. If I move to the Philippines for my seizure medicine. So I'm not that damned if you don't, damned if you will thing, you know. That's one of the reasons why I, I've laid off of doing videos. Whether this one gets a lot of views or not, I mean, it, it don't matter. I just want to bring awareness to seasonal affective disorder. I will be doing more vlogs on seasonal affective disorder. Affective, not effective. With an A in front. Sad. Those of you who don't think it's real, then Google it. Seasonal affective disorder. Or sad. Put S A D. S period, A period, D period. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you will see it's real. It has nothing to play with. People with seasonal affective disorder, sometimes you won't see them for months at a time. Because they're so sad inside. They're hurt. They're never happy. A lot of people even kill themselves. I'm not at that point. But sometimes I do wish I were dead. I have no family to help me because I won't kiss their ass. And I refuse to kiss anybody's ass. Whether it be my family, my kids, or my woman. Fuck you. I'm not kissing no ass. You suck my dick. I'm not kissing no ass. Fuck you. But with seasonal affective disorder, those of you who need the help, get the help. If you're not on medication already, too many men like me, this... See, uh, see your medicine. Get the help. Get the help you need before you hurt yourself, before you hurt anyone. It's out there. It's unknown. It's relatively unknown. Because not too many people talk about it. But it's called seasonal affective disorder. 